Hello friends, Rad Dad Cooks here. Welcome back to yet another Meatless Monday. Today we're whipping up a big old pot of shroom soup. Let's go. First we're gonna start off by making our shroom tea. We're gonna use half an ounce of dried mushrooms of your choice. I'm using porcinis. They are super flavorful, but you could use shiitakes or anything else. To that we're gonna add six cups of water and four teaspoons of vegetable base. We're gonna bring this just to the verge of a boil and then we're gonna let it sit for 30 minutes for those mushrooms to steep in that water and reconstitute. While they're steeping around in there, we're gonna go ahead and roughly chop up one pound of mushrooms. Once again, you can use whatever you like. This is a combination of cremini's and buttons. While we got the knife out, we're gonna small dice up a whole medium shallot and two garlic cloves. Once we get all that stuff cut up and about a tablespoon of vegetable oil, we can put in all of our vegetables we just cut. Saute them around for about three, four minutes until the mushrooms start to sweat, and then we'll add our garlic, stir it for another 30, and then we're gonna put in six ounces of wine. Now this is a Marsala wine. I just really like the taste of Marsala mushrooms, but cream cherry would be another good option. Once your wine reduces down to a little piddle paddle in the bottom of the pan here, we're gonna put in four tablespoons butter, four tablespoons flour to make a nice golden roux. After about three minutes when your roux is good and cooked, but before it totally burns to the bottom of the pan, we're gonna go ahead and deglaze with an additional two ounces of wine. Once we got most of the burnt stuffs off the bottom of the pot, we can slowly start adding in our shroom tea. Don't forget, this is just like making a gravy or anything else. You wanna start off slow to avoid getting any sort of lumps. And once we got a good amount of broth in there, then we can go ahead and dump the rest of that liquid in. We are also gonna put those porcini mushrooms into the soup. The last thing we're gonna do before we set the soup to cook is we're gonna to toss in two fresh basil leaves. You could use a half a teaspoon of dry if you'd like. We're gonna let this cook on the stove top for 20 minutes. During that 20 minutes, we're gonna take another six ounces or so of some mushrooms, any mushrooms really. Put them on top of a tablespoon and a half of butter and we're gonna char them up inside a saute pan. Once they get nice and charred like this, we're just gonna hit them with a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna be using these as a garnish. After 20 minutes, take your immersion blender and blend it all until it's smooth. Now this is your choice here. You can have it as coarse or as smooth as you'd like. If you don't have an immersion blender, you could of course do it in batches in a blender. Just make sure it's good and cool. And at this point, you could also add a little bit of heavy cream too if you'd like to have it be a creamy soup. Give her one last little taste and a dash of salt and pepper if needed. And pour up into a bowl. Garnish with your charred mushrooms and a basil leaf. Thank you very much guys for stopping by for Meatless Mondays. We do this every Monday here at Red Dad Cooks where I try my best to come up with a vegetarian dish, vegan sometimes, that even the meat lovers will rave about. Don't forget to hit that like button on the way out and if you haven't subscribed yet, you know what to do. Peace. I got it, I